The physical constant epsilon zero, commonly called the vacuum permittivity, permittivity of free space or electric constant, is an ideal physical constant, which is the value of the absolute dielectric permittivity of classical vacuum. Its value is epsilon zero equals 8.8541871817. Times 10 minus 12 f per meter. It is the capability of the vacuum to permit electric field lines. This constant relates the units for electric charge to mechanical quantities such as length and force. For example, the force between two separated electric charges is given by Coulomb's law, where Q1 and Q2 are the charges, and R is the distance between them. Likewise, epsilon zero appears in Maxwell's equations, which describe the properties of electric and magnetic fields and electromagnetic radiation, and relate them to their sources. Value. The value of epsilon zero is currently defined by the formula where C is the defined value for the speed of light in classical vacuum in SI units, and mu zero is the parameter that international standards organizations call the magnetic constant. Since mu zero has the defined value for pi times 10 minus 7 hm minus 1, and C has the defined value 299,792,458 meters s minus 1, it follows that epsilon zero has a defined value given approximately by epsilon zero 8.8541878176200 times 10 minus 12 fm minus 1. The historical origins of the electric constant epsilon zero, and its value, are explained in more detail below. Redefinition of the SI units under the proposals to redefine the ampere as a fixed number of elementary charges per second. The electric constant would no longer have an exact fixed value. The value of the electron charge would become a defined number, not measured, making mu zero a measured quantity. Consequently, epsilon zero also would not be exact. As before, it would be defined by the equation epsilon zero equals one, but now with a measurement error related to the error related to that in mu zero, the magnetic constant. This measurement error can be related to that in the fine structure constant alpha, with E exact elementary charge, H the exact Planck constant, and C the exact speed of light in vacuum. Here use is made of the relation for the fine structure constant. The relative uncertainty in the value of epsilon zero therefore would be the same as that for the fine structure constant. Currently 6990680000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
Understanding why epsilon zero has the value it does requires a brief understanding of the history. Rationalization of units The experiments of Coulomb and others showed that the force F between two equal point like amounts of electricity situated a distance r apart in free space should be given by a formula that has the form where Q is a quantity that represents the amount of electricity present at each of the two points and k is Coulomb's constant. If one is starting with no constraints, then the value of k may be chosen arbitrarily. For each different choice of k, there is a different interpretation of q. To avoid confusion, each different interpretation has to be allocated a distinctive name and symbol. In one of the systems of equations and units agreed in the late 19th century, called the centimeter-gram-second electrostatic system of units, the constant Ke was taken equal to 1, and a quantity now called Gaussian electric charge, Qs was defined by the resulting equation the unit of Gaussian charge, the stack Coulomb, is such that two units, a distance of 1 cm apart, repel each other with a force equal to the CGS unit of force, the dyne. Thus the unit of Gaussian charge can also be written 1 dyne half a centimeter. Gaussian electric charge is not the same mathematical quantity as modern electric charge and is not measured in kilons. The idea subsequently developed that it would be better, in situations of spherical geometry, to include a factor 4 pi in equations like Coulomb's law, and write it in the form. This idea is called rationalization. The quantities Qs and Ke are not the same as those in the older convention. Putting Ke equals 1 generates a unit of electricity of different size, but it still has the same dimensions as the CGS ESU system. The next step was to treat the quantity representing amount of electricity as a fundamental quantity in its own right, denoted by the symbol Q, and to write Coulomb's law in its modern form. The system of equations thus generated is known as the rationalized meter-kilogram second equation system, or meter-kilogram second ampere equation system. This is the system used to define the SI units. The new quantity Q is given the name of RMKS electric charge, or just electric charge, clearly. The quantity Qs used in the old CGSESU system is related to the new quantity Q by determination of a value for E epsilon 0 1 now adds the requirement that 1 wants force to be measured in newtons, distance in meters, and charge to be measured in the engineer's practical unit, the Coulomb, which is defined as the charge accumulated when a current of 1 ampere flows for 1 second. This shows that the parameter epsilon zero should be allocated the unit C2 n minus 1 m minus 2. In order to establish the numerical value of epsilon zero, one makes use of the fact that if one uses the rationalized forms of Coulomb's law and Ampere's force law to develop Maxwell's equations, then the relationship stated above is found to exist between epsilon zero, mu zero and C zero. In principle, one has a choice of deciding whether to make the Coulomb or the ampere the fundamental unit of electricity and magnetism. The decision was taken internationally to use the ampere. This means that the value of epsilon zero is determined by the values of C zero and mu zero, as stated above. For a brief explanation of how the value of mu zero is decided, see the article about mu zero. Permittivity of real media. By convention, the electric constant epsilon zero appears in the relationship that defines the electric displacement field D in terms of the electric field E in classical electrical polarization density P of the medium. In general, this relationship has the form. For a linear dielectric, P is assumed to be proportional to E, but a delayed response is permitted and a spatially non-local response, so one has. In the event that non-locality and delay of response are not important, the result is, where epsilon is the permittivity and epsilon are the relative static permittivity. 
In the vacuum of classical electromagnetism, the polarization P equals 0, so epsilon R equals 1 and epsilon equals epsilon 0.